hello everybody and happy Monday. This video is for the 29 week mark to the 34 week mark. As of today when I'm filming this video, I am 34 weeks and five days. But again, this is for weeks 29 to 34, the signs and symptoms I've been having. Shortness of breath certainly has been a major one. So if I am like that throughout the video, my sincere apologies, but I'm further along now and that's just one of those things that happens as you get farther along. Also, I'm filming in the office right now versus the nursery. It's just not a safe spot for me to go in right now where major construction is happening. My husband ended up putting up the vapor barrier. It's getting ready for drywall there now. So it's just a major construction zone. I'm just gonna sit in his eye racing or racing setup seat here in the office and do this video for you. Pregnancy brain is certainly a thing, so I'm going to refer to some of the things I wrote in her baby book thus far. I also am going to put some of the ultrasound pictures, or when we go out to the hospital and her newborn pictures will probably go here. We'll see which I'm going to put in. But yes, like I said, I'm just going to refer to some notes that I have placed in here as a little reminder because I have forgotten the few things, like exact numbers and things, just because it's kind of a blur. So much is happening in the past few weeks, a lot of appointments. I'm going to start with at week 29 when we ended up getting the whooping cough vaccine, which is highly, highly recommended. Both me and my husband ended up getting it. He ended up having no reaction, no nothing to it. He was fine after he got it. Me, I was a bit sore and I had a bit of redness. My arm just kind of hurt after it. So when I was trying to lift my arm or anything like that, it was kind of sore. But besides that, nothing really major. We ended up having this before when we were in junior high or high school or even younger. You have to get it here where we live. It's highly recommended. So we have had this vaccine prior, but it is great when you are pregnant to get it updated and just make sure you have it again. So we both ended up getting the whooping cough vaccine. We also have to get the flu shot at a later date. We couldn't get it at the time of the whooping cough simply because where we live, they do not give out the flu shot that time of year. You have to wait till September, October-ish and later to get the flu shot. So we have to just wait until September and we'll end up getting the flu shot, both of us. And that's something else that's very important to get when you're pregnant and before the baby arrives. So whooping cough vaccine is done. Very important for when baby arrives, especially where they can't be vaccinated for the first little bit. And then we'll be getting the flu shot just a few weeks prior to her expected delivery date. During the third trimester so far, I've had a few cravings, not very many, and some of them have come and some of them have gone. This slushy craving I've had for a long time now, I still have it, absolutely. I'm always wanting a slushy. Another one that I'm having is a craving to fruit punch. I'm really, really, really wanting fruit punch as a drink. PB&J sandwiches, I was starting out like that, but as the weeks went on, I'm just not really, eh, I'll have one here and there, but it's not nearly as a heavy craving as it had been prior. Besides that, no real cravings. That's pretty much all that it's been. I'm just going to read off what I have here. And at 30 weeks, five days pregnant, the heartbeat was at 146. I also found out she's now laying low and not up high anymore. So that is something that we found out. And she is still very, very active. Oh my goodness, she's such an active baby. She's steady kicking, steady moving around, steady like, I'm here, what's up? Oh, it's so precious and adorable just watching her move. My husband absolutely adores it and loves every moment of it. We ended up having her final ultrasound. I'll put the pictures that I have in my hand up here. And it was at 34 weeks and one day. And she was weighing in at five pounds, eight ounces, and our heart rate was 156. Oh my goodness, it was so exciting to see her. And my husband could actually see her mouth move and I could see her mouth move in the ultrasound, which was 
unreal even he said that was when I really sunk in like oh my goodness like there she is and to just know it's the final time we'll see her before she actually arrives was just I, I can't even begin to explain what an amazing experience it was. Yes, we had two ultrasounds already. In the first trimester, we had one. In the second trimester, we had one. And again, in the third trimester. And this one was just icing on the cake. It was, oh my goodness, by far, it's just an amazing experience. I can't even begin to explain and describe what a remarkable feeling it is just to see your baby and know that she's okay everything is looking good so we were both really thrilled about that now today we ended up having another appointment every two weeks we have an appointment with our OBGYN we had another one today everything was looking really really good we ended up hearing the heartbeat again and it was just so amazing to hear and even the OBGYN was like your baby's doing absolutely wonderful and it's just I'm so happy to hear that. It's nothing better and more reassuring to hear from other people and professionals that everything is looking good with your baby. So I was very relieved about that. My husband was very relieved. But yeah, she said everything's looking good. Baby's looking extremely healthy. It's just such a relief. Now my signs and symptoms from weeks 29 to 34. The first thing I've been having are my feet. <laughs> my feet have been bugging me a lot and it comes and goes. It's not constant. But it is something that certainly when it does start to bug me, it really bugs me. And it's almost like a pins and needles type of feeling in your feet. And it's like you can't get comfy with them. And it's steady like you want to push on. You know how the part of your, now not everybody, I guess, because some people have flat feet. But there's that curve in your foot. And it's right there that it's just like I want to steady push on and just be like, oh my goodness, stop hurting. So I'll steady like massage it or I'll put a tennis ball there and I'll stand up and just roll the tennis ball under my foot, the arch area. Oh, it's, oh my goodness, one of those things I'm like, I cannot wait for this symptom to go. Another thing I've been having, mild back pain, nothing excessive, just a little bit of pain in my lower back. And like I said, it's nothing where I'm in excruciating pain, but I've started to have mild back pain. Another thing I've been having, my fingers, it literally feels like I have arthritis in my fingers. They've just been really sore. This only started coming on the past few days though. So this isn't something that started at week 29 like the other two. This has been something that's literally just the past few days. My fingers just have been really tender and sore. Another thing I had and it's slowly I've been working hard at trying to switch it. And that had been extreme insomnia throughout the night I could not sleep I was up all hours of the night and then I'd crash during the day and then up all hours in the night and then crash during the day and this was happening happening for days and days and days on end my poor husband wasn't getting much sleep because of it literally when we had the ultrasound that is the day that we were like okay we have to try to get me back to where I'm sleeping throughout the night and back up during the daytime and that was a challenge it took a few days but finally especially the past three days we've got that under control again and I'm sleeping throughout the nights again and awake during the day it's been like I say kind of a challenge because there's some days I'm just exhausted and just want to go to sleep but I have to find things to keep me awake and force myself to just stay up so then in the nights I'm actually sleeping throughout the nights now I'll still get up here and there to go to the bathroom which is something else I am going to the bathroom a lot more. But like I said, I am definitely doing a lot better with getting a good night's sleep in the nights, which is so key and so important. And like I mentioned earlier, another thing I've been having, and you probably noticed throughout the video, is shortness of breath, where I'm steady. <sighs> okay, <sighs> all right. <laughs> but that is definitely something else that has been happening, is shortness of breath. Now, it has been quite humid and warm, but for me, especially this part of my pregnancy, it has been tenfold. My husband has been finding it warm and stuff, yes. But for me, it's been, oh my goodness, excessive because where I'm pregnant and where I'm carrying pretty much a, she's, I'd say it must be because it's been a week now. So she's probably a bit heavier now than 5.8 pounds since the other day. But yeah, so the fact that I'm pregnant, I'm definitely feeling the heat a lot more. And that is just something too that I noticed has been making me kind of tired, but I have to keep telling myself, no, stay awake 
and sleep throughout the night. I've also been kind of breaking out a little bit, not excessive, but certainly a little bit. I've been breaking out because of hormones fluctuating and things like that. But besides that, I've been doing pretty good. I have a little bit of nausea here and there, but it's nothing excessive. It's just it comes and goes in little spurts and it just depends on where she is positioned but i have to say like i overall feel pretty good like i said yes i am fatigued a bit more yes there's times i'm a bit sore that is something okay i have been having round ligament pain that is something i've noticed and that when it does come on hurts a lot i must say okay that is one thing that certainly does hurt a nice bit but it literally will last for a bit and then go again and then I'll come back. So it's one of those things that it just, it comes and goes. I have been getting that lightning feeling that has started the past few days in the private area. So if you're not aware of that, that is something that does happen. And Braxton Hicks have been kind of happening, but not really. So that's something else I've been keeping an eye on. But I don't know. I guess I'm so excited for the moment that even though I'm having these pains, I'm kind of toning them down. Even though when some of them happen, yes, they do hurt a lot. But I try to not, I guess, steady focus on that or be negative about it all because I'm just, I realized how long it has taken us 13 years for this moment. And I just, I want to be very grateful and humbled for it. I don't want to like instead complain about Oh, I got this pain or that pain or this is hurting or that's hurting because I've waited so long for this moment that I know it all comes with it. I know it's going to happen and I just have to ride it out, tough it out and just realize that it's only for a short time and then I'll be back to myself again and not feeling these pains. So I'm trying to stay very optimistic about it all. But yes, I'll be quite honest. There are times I am hurting. Yes, I am. But... I just, I'm way too excited, way too thrilled about this moment to just focus on that stuff. I don't want that to be like the thing I'm always steady, just like, oh my God, I'm in pain again today. Or, oh my goodness, this is hurting here today. I want to be like, yeah, it's hurting, but this is why. And I just, I can't wait. It's literally only a few more weeks and then baby's here. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, which should be a what is in my hospital bag video. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in that. And again, thank you so much for watching and bye now.